Now, hi, this is Joe again with another review. For the sake of this video, we're going to be discussing the 1986 film, The Golden Child, starring Eddie Murphy and Charlotte Lewis. Of course, this movie uh, was a little bit of trivia. Originally, in 1986, Eddie Murphy was not supposed to be starring in The Golden Child. He was supposed to be starring in Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. But that part was rewritten for a woman, so so they gave Eddie Murphy the golden child to make to make up for the fact that he got written out of Star Trek Four. Uh, naturally, they're going to do Star Trek Four and do it, discussing the golden child. But the golden child, Eddie Murphy plays a guy who works in locating missing children. That's all. That's all he does is look look for missing kids. Uh, meanwhile, uh, even before you meet the Eddie Murphy character, or just before you meet the Eddie Murphy character, there was a, in Tibet where you have a whole bunch of Tibetan monks, and they have what, what you call the Golden Child. Now, the Golden Child is not only because of <coughs> skin tone, but also because of the fact that once every like, thousand years or something, you have this special child, a Tibetan monk, and who become a Tibetan monk was a low, low child, uh, maybe like not even an eight year old kid, or maybe ten years old at the most. <coughs> anyway. And he's going to be this super, supernatural, super magical being who will, bring, who will protect uh, you know, goodness in the world. It's basically, what, I mean, it's, kind, it's, kind, it's kind of uh, flaky. Or, or, it's kind of, kind of a gray area with what really this kid is. It's just a supernatural, good, you know, inside of good uh, kid or a, Tibet, a, a legend in Tibet. And he gets kidnapped by this guy who made a deal with the devil. And so Sean Lewis is asked, was given a task of recruiting Annie Murphy to find this kid. And they believe that Eddie Murphy is what he called, you know, quote, the chosen one to go help help this kid. And that's what he does for the rest, rest of this movie, pretty much. Because at first, he was looking for one particular girl at the beginning of this movie, where Annie Murphy does, and she was, in a way, connected to what's, to what's going on with the Golden Child. So, and because he, she gets killed for her blood and trying to make the Golden Child you know, drink, drink, her, drink her blood. You know, like kind of like a vampire, vampire shit, or whatever the hell it is. And so what happens is, naturally, of course, he he wouldn't drink the blood. Otherwise, it would be easier to kill. And it's like a crazy supernatural crap. And it's, it's pretty much like that for the whole movie. Where Eddie Murphy actually goes to bed, he's trying to do something like Eddie Murphy's type humor that you saw in his three previous films. You know, going Training places, for eight hours, and and uh, Bill Hill's Cop, and the first Bill Hill's Cop movie, and those movies were like huge hits. But when he gets his Golden Child, it's like this was like his first really first real Eddie Murphy film that turned into a little big bust, and, and it was a bust. I mean, this, this movie is just terrible all, all the way around. But the only good thing about this movie is the relationship between Eddie Murphy and Sean Lewis in this film, and this was also the first Eddie Murphy film. He actually ha does have a love interest. You know, he ends up, he does happen to fall in love with the Shorter Short Lewis character, and she was kind of, and she was very very hot at the time, uh, not just her physical looks, but she was kind of hot in Hollywood at the time. Because oh well, this, this girl was, I mean, and she was very very good in this role, and for some reason she just dropped out of Hollywood after after that. Uh, I think it's because it was. Uh, what I heard was that she was like sexually assaulted or something by, by a producer or a casting or a casting agent or something for, for a part and she she was attacked by somebody and, and because of that she just dropped out and this is what Hollywood is like I didn't want to have anything part of it uh, which is unfortunate fortunate for everybody because she is a smoking hot you know beautiful woman there but, but unfortunately uh, she dropped out after this role and it would have been interesting if there was a second Golden Child movie. I think it would have been great to involve 
the relationship between Eddie Murphy and Sean Lewis. That would have been, I think that would have been cool to see something like that with all the supernatural stuff in, in between. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. And uh, but the movie, the movie itself, of course, Eddie, well, getting back to the movie itself, Eddie Murphy does rescue the golden child from the from the guy who kidnapped him, and. And, you know, they had this big, you know, fight scene at the end. Of course, Eddie Murphy does, of course, since he's the hero of the movie, of course, you know it's going to happen. You know it's going to win. Save the golden child. And that's and that's about it. But fortunately, it's... I, I, I mean, this is the first time in a long time I've seen this movie. I usually avoid the golden child because it's really not that good. Uh, the, only, the only thing good about it is I think Charlotte Lewis in this film. I mean, I mean, I think she stole every scene she was in. She was good, and, and, and like I said earlier, she's e you know she's beautiful. She's easy on the eyes, and so and so she and she was very good matching with Eddie Murphy, and and it, and it was that's what that's the only good thing about this movie that I like. I mean, special effects were like kind of cheesy, especially for a 1986 standards. The, the, the special effects were cheesy. Uh, the plot is very easy. It, it's no cop, no hard to follow because of all the supernatural crap that's in this movie, and Eddie Murphy's trying to force a lot of humor in this film, um, like he would do in, uh, in other um, films like the Billy House Cop Two, uh, even Billy House Cop Three. You know, years later, or some of the other films turn out to be bombs. After 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 this movie, and and they and they had to saw this movie movie. One movie after the next, it was disaster after disaster after disaster for Andy Murphy, which, which was a shame because, he, like I said earlier, he got up to three great, three huge hits in the very start of his career, and then after, you know, the first Billy Hills Cop movie, which came out in 1984, his career went downhill until maybe in, into the mid to late 90s when he made the very first Dr. Doolittle film which was a moderate hit and I and kind of like the, the Dr. Doolittle remake that Amy Murphy did because I thought, I thought it was quite clever and quite entertaining and, and a very good family film but it took so it took over like 10 years to get to get, to get there and, and it was like one bust after another and I think it did start with The Golden Child because it was not that great I know I'm talking about everything else but the movie, but uh, I just gave a quick synopsis of the movie because the movie is really, really not that good. Uh, it's kind of cheesy, and it's, uh, especially if you see it for the first time, it's kind of hard to follow. It has to take you more than one viewing to, to really properly understand this movie. Even though know, the movie's not very long, it's about maybe an hour and 35 minutes, so it's not, it's not a very long, long movie, but it's just so hard to follow with all the supernatural elements in it. First you went with the giant snake lady. I mean, I mean it, was, it was really, really ridiculous. You know, the snake, the snake lady bit. Uh, but the movie itself, it's not great. I'm not saying it's not a god awful movie. I mean, there is a plot. But but it's so far few in between what's go really going on in this film. Uh, it could have been a whole lot shorter if it wasn't for all the... Uh, forced humor that Andy Murphy does in this film. So that's my review of the movie The Golden Child. Please click on the video, please rate it. Feel free for uh, feel free to rate you know feel free to like the uh my the video. Please subscribe to my channel and please forward this video onto your Facebook pages. You can take all my reviews and on my YouTube channel at rallyc.com so W D Y C.com that's the home page of Rally Reviewer Chris Lee Moore and please check out all of his videos on his website. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.